Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 53 of Rising Zero Dawn. The last episode we uh, learned about uh, I can't Hades. spare the weight. Cradle sealed. The Luthia 01 was, was successfully sealed before the swarm advancing across your journey. Orbits could detect us. Being back from crucial systems is good. For our maiden, for our maiden voyage, a success. Regards, my regards, my dispute to the basis of Rosigo's selection. Of course, I understand how we have limited overhead to run simulations of gene flow in our future humans. We can all agree there is margin for refinement in future cradle populations. Don't. Of therefore, in uh, French. In addition to personally overseeing completion of the Eleuthia 02 site inside the Mountain Nimbuli, I will formulate and propose a modified zygote selection plan within the week. PBK. Are these what I what I think they are? Artificial wombs. Machines to spawn a new generation of human beings. Cradle Servitor Personae. Development of the artificial personae for Cradle Servitors, Nurturer, Disciplinary, and Healer continues at a good pace. We're targeting Turing 0.4 for these constructs. This should allow low grade empathy and limited improvisation without undermining adherence to codified behavior sets. The stimulus driven switching of personae, however, is for me to be a greater sacrifice. I anticipate it, especially concerning our entrenched feedback loops between the disciplinarian and healer personae. We have also attached to the reports from an incident where a servitor running the mother personae and Intervened in the disciplinarian servitor's behavior. A parental argument, if you will. I'm using on first glance, perhaps deeply concerning. I've attached a comprehensive plan for correcting these interactive protocol shortcomings. Unjust data corrupted. You can't remember. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. Yeah, I think there is more to that, but yeah. And now. Straight into the water. Damn, boats are full of water. Your logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia, go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, let's just do what it says.
would benefit from antilopinate morphologies. Though Capric forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet... And yet... I find the loss of megafaunal species... ...unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion... ...causes me to experience... ...a grief... ...that is difficult to describe. Am I not functioning? No, no Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect... Distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped. But all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Gaia, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead. In fear and agony. What if... If it was all for nothing. Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Should have brought a cart. Let's resource this thing. Odyssey has failed. But yeah, look. Yeah, Odyssey has failed. Call some terrible news coming right now. Pricing it has informed me. Yeah. Catastrophic antimatter containment. Failure. Alpha build of Apollo our last Zero Dawn is now the only hope for the continuation of the human species in earthly life. We must succeed. Artemis says us. It's coming along, Liz. I'm positive about this. At least we're in the meeting. Has my sleep zero rolled up for negotiating with frozen zoos for samples. So many species trapped in ghoulish holograms are around us. Suspended in what ifs. More than 14,000 that went extinct between 2000 and 2043. We've started mapping out primary succession, selecting the pioneer organisms for a balanced and sustainable biosphere. Microorganisms and insects. Rabbits and hawks, foxes and wolves. Thousands more that will have to wait until we have our new generation can be entrusted with the duty of restoring them. So they can return to a world that, this time, understands the concept of conservation before it's too late. That explains why there are so few animals. There are so few different types of animals. There's already been too many late. Too many too late. We lost a whole collection team during the war break in Myanmar. The samples we lost were, well, irreplaceable. But thanks to you, Liz, the circle of life will bend, not break. The Earth was a lifeless rock before, and someday it will be again. But not now. Not like this. 
not an hour watch. Runs. A registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. It grew when High Priest Bahavas went missing, and when the true Sun King Itamen was snatched away. It not only grew, but multiplied. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? This necklace is made of bullets. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But yeah, I did well, it's casings. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, 
Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Meant to eliminate High Priest Bahavas. Meant to snatch Itaman away. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. I don't think so. <laughs> some destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief, comes unstoppable force. Then you must cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? Yeah, God said it's like and yet, 12 years ago. So fragile. He dies. <sighs> he dies painfully. <sighs> he has to. So you see, this time. I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Faithful. Rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, 
night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these proud in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the radiant Juran ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Might is the radiance in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in view of the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. and flying and I shouted again need to stop doing that and um okay our outfit is different now and we can open our menu now Unless you find a way to recover your weapons, you'll never stand a chance against the behemoth. Yeah. 
I think this will be a good thumbnail. Or let's see if there's a better one. Kill her! Why leave it to them? Come get me yourself! This will be good. So, yep, that was the episode. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.